right. Well, it's vital. When dedicated youth leader Philip Pierce Smith from Holbury in Hampshire was nominated for the MBE, what he should wear to go to Buckingham Palace was the last thing on his mind. Debbie went to meet him and hear his rather embarrassing memory for the last in our series, The Queen and I. Philip Pierce Smith still blushes at the thought of when he got dressed the day of his MBE and out of habit put his uniform on, short-sleeved shirt and cap. It never crossed his mind anything was amiss until he arrived at the palace that day and found everyone else in morning suits. Well, when I went into the sort of waiting room with all, all the other people, uh, several of them you know, were sort of looking at me, what's he doing here? Hasn't he any dress sense? <laughs> How was everybody else dressed then? Most of them were either in full dress uniform, you know, everything from feathers on the top of their hat and things and morning coats and that, and there was this little scruffy individual in a shirt. <laughs> do you still blush when you think about it? I do, you know. You see, Tiffy, as he's affectionately known, is really happiest when he's out in the open air on a rescue with the Venturers Search and Rescue Organisation he founded in the 1960s. The League of Venturers provide rescue services to the police in the New Forest and the Coast Guards in the Solent. As well as the lives they've saved, he's lost count of the number of teenagers he's helped to acquire valuable engineering and first aid skills and a sense of purpose. I founded it with my late wife in August 1961 and the object was to show that if you gave teenagers the training, equipment, opportunity and trust, they could provide a valuable service to the community. How many people do you reckon you've rescued over those decades? Well, it must run into thousands, and even actual lives saved. What thoughts were going through your mind as you dressed and got ready to go to the palace that day? Frightened to death. <laughs> really. <laughs> really? I can't believe it. You've carried out all these rescues and you say you were frightened. And in fact, uh, when the time came for me to go forward, I froze. And the Lord Chamberlain gave me a tap up the bottom to push me forward. <laughs> Do you think Her Majesty noticed? She didn't blink an eyelid. And the amazing thing is, she knew all about me, all what I've done. And when I thought, there's all those people there, and she knows exactly why I'm getting the award and can tell me. Prince Charles is grand patron of the Venturers, and back in 1977, Hello. launching the Silver Jubilee Trust, was singing the organisation's praises. The League of Ventures Land and Sea Rescue Service, of which I am Grand Patron, began ten years ago. It operates in the Solent and New Forest areas and involves volunteers between the ages of 11 and 21. In this exercise, the average age is 15, and nearly all of them are from secondary modern or comprehensive schools. And funnily enough, the majority come from what's known as the notorious uh, housing estates. And really, when they come to us, they're good as gold. I did ask one youngster, why did you join the Ventures? He said, well, it keeps me out of trouble, and when I'm down in the Ventures, I'm somebody. And that's the point, somebody. That's what really matters to Tiffy, as proud as he is of the MBE that he wore for our benefit with great modesty. For he lives and breathes the organisation he started, which both saves lives, transforms those who serve within it. We had 189 rescues last year, and we saved nine lives. It's this sort of work which the Queen has sought to acknowledge throughout her reign. When you look back over her public life, what do you think? She's a marvellous lady. You know, she's the real ambassador of Britain. And I hope she'll go on forever. <laughs> and so say all yes, of us. Yeah. It was lovely to meet Tiffy. Fantastic life's work too.